Travel Rap. It's the Travel Rap Podcast. What's really good, y'all? Welcome to the Travel Rap Podcast, the place where the art of storytelling meets the world of travel. I am your host, Frank Nitt, and for today's destination, we're going to the beautiful city of Zurich, Switzerland. Even though most of this did not take place in Switzerland per se, that's where we're going. Um, Before we get into the story, quick little travel tip. Know the laws of the places you're traveling to. Like uh, if you're going state to state, uh, province to province, country to country, know know what's going on in, in the place that you're on your way to because it could get a little sticky as you will see. So... On the road in Europe, leaving, um, I, I believe we were leaving Amsterdam. I want to say we were leaving Amsterdam. And I know this because the place we were leaving, marijuana was legal. Keep that in mind. So, we're leaving this place. And because we were in a place with legal marijuana, me being a marijuana uh, partaker, uh, we had some while we were there. Upon leaving, we asked tour bus driver because we were on a tour bus and he was you know kind of our guy you know in and out of the cities whatever whatnot hey we have this here should we not take it with us he says oh no y'all should be good I don't think we're crossing any borders well we're going to cross a border but it won't be a border stop it'll just you know be a drive through much like driving from uh, Michigan to Chicago or Michigan to Illinois right just you know you just get in your car and you go and you're in michigan then you're in illinois it it is what it is right so um you know so it it shouldn't be any border crossings you should be good don't even worry about it so great we hold on and we get on the road it's about a four hour drive or so so we're just driving along tooting along and everything is great and we're having a great time and everybody's in a jovial mood so we decide to partake in a, a little bit of the partaking ha so Puff, puff, puff. Pass, pass, pass. Puff, puff, puff. There is a cloud in the car. It's a nice cloud. You can still see through it, but it's a, it's a cloud. And uh, we're driving along, and we notice that traffic is starting to thicken up because there wasn't any traffic, really, as we were riding, so it started to thicken up. And, and then it starts to get a little crazy because it begins to slow down. And as it's slowing down, we see... In the middle of the road with an M16, a police officer, and then a vehicle, and the vehicle. And as we're rolling, it's like it came up over the horizon. There was a a a a a a, 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 a border patrol station. A border patrol station just kind of there popped. It just popped out of the ground. I don't know where it came from. We couldn't see it before, and they were they were slowing down cars and. And, and having people go into the uh, border patrol to get checked. So we see this, and we're about a mile off. So we <laughs> we immediately roll out all the windows. So this big old cloud come out of the out of the car whoosh, while we're rolling. And now we still have this amazing ball of this beautiful flower, and we don't know what to do with it. You can't necessarily throw it out the car because there's now police everywhere. So uh, you know. It's it's a it's a it's a tour van, so it gets rented and used by many people. So our best uh, <laughs> our best plausible deniability is that it's not us, right? But that's not going to help us with the smell. So it's a little it's a little tricky. So uh, my compadre there takes takes the the ball of weed from all the way in the back of the van and just flings it right into the van so it'll just be somewhere not on us not with any of our stuff if they find it it's just there right sling it so it goes under the seat Frown, right so we pull up and we get out well no rewind we pull up and the guard is there and he asked for our IDs and when we rolled up we had rolled the windows back up <laughs> we rolled the window he got smacked in the face by a big cloud of smoke right so he was like oh yeah, yeah, you guys pull over. He didn't even get to asking us for the ID. He's like, yeah, y'all go over there, man. So we go over there, and we're sitting there, and they have us sit there. So they come out, and they take us in the building one at a time, right? And so 
So, and what, how they have it set up, they have you sitting like this lane where they can they, where they can check the car, right? And then they have the building sitting there, the the and and they have a big picture window that you can see in. And the people whose car it is sit there so you can watch them go through your car, right? So what happened was they take us in one at a time. So they take the driver in. It's just me, the homie, and, and, and the driver. And the driver goes, and he goes all the way in the back. And he's back there for, you know, a few minutes. When he comes out, he just had this look on his face like he was, like, completely de defeated. I had never seen anybody that he was defeated, like, like he had lost the big game it was over right so i'm like oh man like what happened to him <laughs> what happened to him but they brought him back out and sat him with the thing so like, apparently you know he was okay i guess right so uh next thing they come they take my compadre they take him in the back <laughs> when he come out the back he ain't got none of his jewelry on no more <laughs> and when i say dejected and 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 almost horrified like can I, his face just so i'm sitting in the car by myself and i'm just like man what is happening in this building right so <laughs> so it's frank's turn they take me in the building i go in the building go in the back when i tell you these two swiss uh patrol officers in the back and what Okay, we're going to check your bag, and you pull everything out your bag, and throw everything all over the place, right? And, and then, and then, okay, you have to take off your clothes, and I mean, take off your clothes. You got to get naked, balls out, paws, naked. When I tell you this dude, <laughs> turn around and spread your cheeks, nigga. Make sure something don't fall out. <laughs> Man, listen, I have I've never been to jail before in that manner. I did three days in this, it wasn't no jail uh so okay uh yeah no i don't ever want to go if this is what you got to go through because you had to bend over cough and spread your cheeks so they could make sure you didn't have nothing so okay i didn't have nothing let me go they put me back out in the front so now we all sitting there like the three stooges <laughs> looking out this picture window at them searching our van so they go in pull all our bags out Search all our bags thoroughly. Go thoroughly through the van. Bring the dog. Go thoroughly through. The... Nothing. They can't find that. They close the van back up. The team goes one way. One individual goes another way. He comes back with a whole, whole another team of guys, right? Uh, they open the van, pull out of the bag, go through everything, bring the dog, run around. Nothing. They can't find nothing. <laughs> so, okay team goes one way other dude goes another way he come back with a whole another dude in the whole uniform he must have been the sergeant or somebody because he was he was clad it different he looked totally different so he come pull everything out go through everything go through the whole van can't find that they have to let us go they cannot believe they have to let us go <laughs> so you know now we're all still in shock from the cheek spreading incident <laughs> pause <laughs> we, we all we all in still so you know we we trying to process as we drive away feeling good that we didn't go to jail but bad that you know just all this has happened right so we're driving along and we begin to discuss and it's just like yo somebody had to take what was in here so the dude who let us in was really cool. He was really smiley, but he knew he knew he was going to get in trouble for that chronic, right? So our belief was that he took it. When everybody was in the building and nobody was at the van, he pocketed it, and he's probably going to be at home after work having a great smoke. That's what we was thinking. Now, I don't, I, it didn't go that way. What happened was, this is what happened. When we get to the hotel, we decide to pull everything out the van and go through the van and figure it out. And we went through the van, and through the miracle of the most high, this weed, this ball, this ball was about that big. It went under the seat. And uh, in, in the European vans, they have the uh, they have a, a utility tray under the passenger seat for tools and supplies or whatever. And it went under the seat, over that pan, and behind that. So it was in between the front of the seat and the the back of the the tray so i just and i saw them go through the tray and pull all the stuff out the tray they never saw it 
When I tell you that was the best blunt I ever smoked in my life in in Switzerland, it was. <laughs> it was. It was the only thing that was that could remotely try to make me forget about what <laughs> just happened to me. So listen, y'all. This this the moral of the story is don't travel without doing what you're doing or where you're going or how you're doing it because it is dangerous it is dangerous you might end up in the back room of a border patrol station with your cheek spread pause this has been travel rap i'm your host frank nick hey man be careful go see the world be careful travel rap podcast we out peace yeah. Travel Rap Podcast.